my girlfriend, 32 year old female makes over $400 a year. And she told me a 31 year old male that if I don't make more money, that she would be settling for me and that my luck, my lack of ambition would be unattractive. My girlfriend and I have been together for four months. A bit about us. My girlfriend is an OBGYN. Her family is decently well off. Her dad is a physician and her mom works as a professor. She didn't go to private school, but she went to one of the top schools in New Jersey. I work in public health consulting. My mom works as a teacher and my dad used to work in construction, but he had a bad injury and had to retire early. We met each other through a dating app and started dating. Initially, things were great. It was my girlfriend who was the one that pushed for us to be exclusive. And when we first got together, she had a lot of respect for me. When it came to money too, I assumed she made more money than me. I knew doctors made a lot, but she would tell me a lot of times, oh, I have so much debt. When it came to dates, we split probably 60, 40, me pay paying the larger share. But there were never things which she said she wanted to do that I was like, that's too much. I think it's very natural for guys to, even guys who make way less than their partner, it's very natural to want to pay more than half at least to show that their man, it makes them feel more, more masculine, more, more in charge, so to speak, in all the right way. So that's perfectly natural and that's the thing to do. Anyway, but it started recently when we were planning a trip to France. She tells me that she has these points and wants to book business class. And I was like, wow, yeah, I'll just chill in economy. Even if I had the points, I would much rather use it for experiences than an airplane ride. She then starts telling me that riding in comfort is something I would I should aspire toward and that I should be more ambitious. And this is when she asks me how much I make. I told her that after bonus, I make 140,000. I ask her how much she makes. And then she says her total, which is uh, 410,000. And this is after working on average 36 hours a week. I ask her how much debt does she have? She says about 200,000, but has over 300,000 in savings and retirement accounts. She then tells me that she doesn't mind, that she sees that I have potential, and she says that I should get an MBA and try to work at a place like McKinsey. For me, I'll be honest, I do want to earn more in life, like I have friends that wanted to start our own agency and all, but the way my girlfriend was not in an, in an aspirational way, I ask her, I'm like, if I was to stay at where I am salary-wise, would that be okay? She tells me that she loves me and would be okay, but that she would be settling. I was very upset and I just told my girlfriend that I need some space. I'm wondering if there is any point in us going forward. Like initially, I liked the fact that we were a power couple. I thought, okay, sweet, we'll be able to have a comfortable life together and give our future kids a lot more of an enriching childhood. But now it's like I'm wondering if she will just look down on me and think she is settling. I don't want to waste time in a relationship that has an expiration date. At this point, is, is it best to just call it quits? So... For this type of situation, I think I have good news and um, I have bad news. The bad news is that um, whether you're a guy or a girl, telling someone that you will be settling by being with them, whether it's financial, whether it's looks-wise, whatever, is one of the worst things you can do. How is it supposed to f make the other person feel? Why would you ever say that? If you think you'll be settling, then don't settle. But don't say that. Um, the other bad news is if you're a guy in this situation, are you really going to feel that you're on some kind of timeline, that you're in some kind of Hunger Games situation where either you get a promotion and you make more money by the end of the year or you have to worry that you're not good enough for her, even though you're doing quite okay, maybe not as good as she does, but quite okay. Are you supposed to compete with her and match with her no matter what? This is not a good dynamic to set. Um, the good news is that these types of frictions can and are often resolved through simply talking about it, explaining to the other person how it made you feel. Maybe they regret, maybe that woman regrets about what she said. If she really loves the guy, then she's going to start thinking, wow, maybe I went too far. I didn't quite mean to say it like that. So there's no reason to jump the gun after, you know, one statement or one little dispute. I don't even know if I can call it dispute and pull out of the relationship if so many good things are going on. And uh, one final thought is if you're making much more than your partner, but your partner is not a deadbeat, he cannot be accused of not having ambition. The worst thing you can do 
is to make them feel like they're less than you. They probably already feel, especially if it's a guy, he probably already feels at least a little bit insecure about not making maybe as much as you and not contributing to the, not being able to contribute to a relationship as much as you. The worst thing you can do is to amplify it. And the best thing you can do is to act like it's not an issue. There are so many other ways to encourage your partner to, uh, to grow professionally, educationally, to be more. There's so many other ways to support them other than, hey, I'm here, you're here, I expect you to be here, or we're not a match, or I will be uh, doing you a favor by being with you. Thanks for watching. Until next time.